Another change with 8.1 is that they say that they've improved the playback of DNX HD clips or ProRes clips. So these are typically QuickTime files, MOV files. ProRes is an Apple format. You, know, you can play it on the PC just by having the latest version of QuickTime on there, but it always plays pretty awfully. It's because it's actually going through QuickTime. QuickTime is 32-bit and they have to actually get EDIUS to talk to QuickTime properly and all sorts of other stuff. It's a bit of a pain in the neck. Well, they've improved the performance. It's not a huge revolution. I mean, if I take this timeline here, for example, what I've got here is some 4K clips on a timeline. This was filmed with a Blackmagic 4K production camera in ProRes. And if I just start playing those back, you can see my system here is playing that back properly. For some reason, it always does a little hiccup at the start. But then when it gets to doing two layers, it can't quite manage it. This is actually with 8.1, this is after the enhanced performance. And you might say, okay, that's not brilliant. Well, actually, without that, this computer couldn't actually play back a 4K ProRes file at all. It would stutter. So it has got better, it's just not a huge revolution. At the start of the timeline here, I'm using 4K clips. That's obviously asking quite a lot. Let's come to these clips here. These are HD. So I'm looking here at about five clips on the timeline, all made of HD ProRes in an HD project. And if I start playing that back, you'll notice, yep, it's doing that pretty well. It's actually getting through five layers there. You can see the buffers going up. So it's actually happily coping with that. Compare that to what it did in EDIUS 8 on the same computer, and it wasn't quite managing the fifth layer. So it's improved. It's not a revolution, but it's definitely improved. They've also improved the playback of DNX HD. Now, DNX HD is AVID's format. It's not installed on your computer automatically. You have to download the AVID codecs to get them on there, but they are free. So you can just go and download them, and then you'll be able to use DNX HD MOV files or QuickTime files. And they've improved the performance of those a bit as well. Uh, DNX HD files can also be in an MXF format. Now, if you're using AVID, and you're recording stuff into Avid, it's actually saved in an MXF format. You can only use MXF DNX HD if you have the workgroup version of EDIUS. If you have the pro version, you can't. So I happen to have the workgroup version here. I whacked a few clips straight off my Avid media folder onto the timeline, and here you can see HD clips playing more back. I've got at least six layers there, and it's cruising through it no problem whatsoever. Using version 8, it still could do about 5 layers, now it can do 6. So they've improved it, it's not a huge revolution, but it is getting better.